In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can install a free open source media server on your Ubuntu server. Hello and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we are going to install an open source media server on our Ubuntu server 20.04 and then I will show you how you can access it and also how you can copy the media files and how to create users who can access the server. Additionally, I will teach you how you can change the thumbnail and the metadata of the media. All right, so first of all, here I have a fresh installed Ubuntu server 20.04. So this is the IP address 10.0.0.130. So first of all, I'm going to access it on putty and I created username uh, Jellyfin and the password Jellyfin. So actually this media server called Jellyfin. So the IP address is 10.10.10. Oh, 130 okay jellyfin all right let me switch to the root user step number one we are going to update the package index for that the command is apt update Step number two, we are going to install necessary dependencies. Step number three, we are going to add Jellyfin repositories and you can get all the commands from the description of this video. Step number four, we are going to update the package index again. Step number five, now we are going to install Jellyfin server. Step number six, now we are going to start and enable the Jellyfin service. Okay, so let's check the status of Jellyfin. For that, the command is systemctl status Jellyfin. And if you see active and running, that means your server is successfully installed. Okay, so now we are going to access Jellyfin web interface. So first of all, you have to type the IP address and then the port number is 8096. It's the default port. You can change that later. Okay. So right now I put some media uh, here, but I'm going to show you how you can do that. So let me just full screen this thing. And uh, this is the admin administration portal. So, so the top portion you see is for the users. And if you see administration, that means you're logged in as administrator. So let's go to the administrator dashboard. Okay. So as I told you, I'm going to show you how you can access it and how you can copy the files and how you can create the users. So let's go step by step as I'm here already under the users. Uh, the dashboard if you go to the general you can change uh, some basic settings here and the cache path and the media path whatever you want to do and if you want to create a user you can just simply click on the plus sign username and the password and you can do enable all the libraries or you can just allow movies so I actually created this library uh, if we go under library, you can see here I created this for movies and if you want to create a new one You can create that and then you can add the folder. Okay So I'm just going to close this so that's how you create a user it's very simple and then uh, if you want to create libraries like movies songs or anything you want to put in you can create a new media library and when you're going to create a user you can assign uh, any library any specific li library if you want to okay so now i'm going to show you how you can copy media files from your computer to your uh, jellyfin server so for that you're gonna need uh, uh, an application called WinSCP. So it's on the other screen. All right. So here you need to type the IP address and the username.
Okay, if I copy any of the media file from my computer to that folder, it's gonna show up under this movies folder because it's going to detect from this folder. But as I wanted to show you, if you are doing uh, from scratch, so let's use any other uh, folder. Let's let's do this var and tmp. So I'm going to let's copy this file here and uh yeah it's gonna take few seconds the transfer speed is really good and then i will create another library in the delifin server so you can understand how you can do that on your own server okay so you can see it's uh, available here with that file size and if i go to uh the main section you can see you can see only this kgf movie not the other one where i copied okay so i'm gonna go back to the administrator and create uh let's say i'm gonna name it mixed movies and shows display name new movies and then here this is the main thing you're going to select the folder okay so i'm gonna go back back and then we copy it in the var tmp okay so i'm just going to hit okay and then you can see all other uh, stuff as well if you want to see you can just read the description and okay so if we go back to the libraries the home and go to new you can see all other files and this media let me just quickly play this so you can mute it because i don't want the copyright strike so you can see it's playing so any of the user who have access to this server can watch the movies within the network so it's free to use it's open source easy to install i'm gonna say it's the best thing for many isps they can have their own media server to save the bandwidth and that's all for this video thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video bye bye